take a look at what GameStop has. Give time for the graphic to clear. My headset's telling me someone's calling my other phone that I don't have with me. So <laughs> they do have some new superpowers, and we got that thing we'll look at. There's the bug, a blue beetle. I do have the new superpower stuff on pre order. I'm trying to manhandle it here, guys. Sorry. It does look pretty cool. I wonder how this compares to the popcorn bucket that was out. Hmm. I can't remember which theater had the popcorn bucket that looked like that thing when the movie was out, but that is cool to see. First time seeing any of the new superpowers. And then they got this. This is GameStop exclusive. This is the figure when McFarlane showed it on his channel. He had to take like a few minutes and describe what translucent meant. <laughs> I mean, see there. Oh, we do have some new stuff. We got those two. Plus, we got one of the new Batman Adventure figures. You got Batgirl. Then you got Two Face, Super, or Two Face, Gordon, and Batman. Also, Wave. I think the Batman might be a different edition Batman. Not like the sideboard. I can't remember. Anyways, we got Nightwing there from the previous Wave. Still got a Batman, as Jim Gordon, and some Aquaman figures. Mega figs down there. Still got some from Blue Beetle. Cara Pax and Blue Beetle. Page Punchers. Uh, nothing new and exciting over here. I do have that Mega Block set there. That's 50 bucks here too. I thought that was just a books a million price. Must be what regular retail is going to be. Oh, Dune figures. Someone had asked me if I would show Dune figures. So yeah. There is Paul. Looking forward to seeing part two to this. Back there is Chani, or Sean, I can't remember how she said her name. And then Christopher Walken, the Emperor. And Fade. And then you got the two pack here. And then the Paul Fade two pack. Has anybody seen Doom Part 2 yet? Like it, hate it, good, bad? My wife and I are going this coming Tuesday. It's Friday as I'm filming this. We're going to watch it. If we got anything here, I've already looked at the Star Wars stuff. While I was waiting on someone to clear out here, they don't have anything in the Star Wars section. And nothing really worth showing in the clearance. But it looks like we're different. <laughs> okay, there was a guy kind of walking around. He grabbed that Frostbite Batman on wrist. That didn't last. By the time I got done here, I'm going to see if he might let me take a picture of it just for the thumbnail because we did find it. And he's one of the guys I see in here a lot. So I'm going to turn the camera off. We're going to get some pictures of the bug and Batgirl. See if we can get one of the Frostbite. And then we're going to head out of here. All right, we're over here in the oh game figure stuff. These little Mario figures I like. They got Ice Mario. Regular Mario with the one up. Who's that one? Another Ice Mario. And check it out. We got a Red Yoshi. I've got the green Yoshi, which is right here. I don't have the red one. That's pretty cool. Oh, I don't think my piranha plant looks like this. Nope, it's from the new wave. That's, that's neat, too. $11.99. Man, these went up, didn't they? There's Ludwig. And then a the red piranha plant. So, yeah, we got a different Yoshi and a different piranha plant here. But, oh. Once again, we see anything else different, I'll show it to you. And if not, then we are heading out of here this time. Maybe, unless I find something else. Yeah. See what Ross has. We are in Johnson City, Tennessee. They got ranged Goofy. We do have some page punchers. Rebirth Superman. And then they got a bunch of the Flashpoint Batman. Oh, those are not bad. I'm a fan of that Batman. Ooh, almost dropped it. Uh, Mutant Mayhem, there's Raph, Donnie, and Mikey, another Raph, another Raph, another Donnie, another Raph, Sonorio. What's that big thing you always got? Okay. Back up a little bit now. We've got some Page Punchers, Mirrorverse, and Turtles. They had Speedball and Madame Hydra in the bin up by the register, but I didn't film up there. That's all they had. We've seen those things several, several times now. Minecraft stuff back in there. Bunch of the turtles on skateboards. Oh, there is 
the Catwoman 499, the gold label, the Hulk and the bunny slippers. There is a Thanos hitting right now with the Punisher shirt. I'm not saying I would buy it, but i like to see it. But, you know, I don't always buy pops, so there are probably certain people I'm going to ask if it's okay if I buy a pop, you know, stay in my lane. <sighs> Action figure police came out in the last video because I bought something they didn't think I should be allowed to buy. I was hoping they might have Quasar, but I don't think they're going to have him back here anywhere. But yeah, we got some different stuff this time. We got some Mutant Mayhem, we got some Page Punchers, we got this old Catwoman figure, Hulk with bunny slippers. If we do see anything else here, I'll let you see it. But if we don't, then we're going to move on to the next stop. On today's episode of The Man Collects, we are Saturday toy hunting in Johnson City, Tennessee, as we normally are. We're here at our usual first destination, the Walmart on West Market Street. So let's run in here and see if they got anything this morning. Here we go. First Walmart of the Saturday toy hunt. Did hit some places yesterday. You've already seen in the videos, so we've already had some finds. Let's see what else we got. Look at the turtles back there that are facing me. <laughs> I wonder who has did that. Uh, Mutant Mayhem starting to show up at Ross. I've seen them all but him. I have not seen Leonardo. I've seen Mikey, Raph, and Donnie so far. And they're $6.99. You find them at Ross, $9.97 here. So, three bucks off. Still no auto mutations here. The not ninjas, whatever they're called. Uh, Genghis Frog. I have seen some Walmarts, but they have not been marked. When I've scanned the retro carded turtles here, they're coming up six dollars so i don't know if they are here or not i didn't scan them no x-men we still have a sandman an mj and a matt murdoch um zombie scarlet witch who's oh, it's agatha and jimmy woo we got our mech strike stuff on sale not seeing anything out of the ordinary so far but oh Okay, we got some promise on the multiverse. I see Aquaman superpowers. Uh, let's make sure there's no superpowers up top. Are oh, they going to have a manta? There's another Aquaman up top up there. Let's see, I still don't see anything. I'm trying not to get too excited and run right down there to them because there's nobody else in the toy house. Nobody's going to beat me to them. Well, a few people may have already beat me to them, but... <laughs> As far as this morning, I'm pretty safe. Cyclone, Shazam, still got Wonder Woman. Duke Thomas. I wonder if Wonder Woman is marked down. Of course, I've already got one of those. I don't need to get another one. All right, here we go. Aquaman superpowers finally in my area. Something other than... There's an Owlman hiding back there. Make sure there's nothing laying down here. Okay. Uh, here we go with the others again. Deathstroke. Aquaman, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Deathstroke. Well... Aquaman is all they got. And there's no more on the top shelf there using the technology. We'll get a picture of Aquaman, so. I'm not as excited as I thought I'd be to see those things. I'm about ready to get out of the superpowers line. Oh, I still kind of still like them, don't get me wrong, but they're aggravating to try to find these Walmart exclusives. And I don't know. I mean, I like them, but then again, I really want to take up that much space in my collection with them. All right, nothing exciting in McFarland. What we got down here? Still got $29 stamped on Luke and Krogu. I don't see Chrysanthemum as of yet. Oh, there's Chrysanthemum. He's still showing 33 but I assume he's on clearance, too. I have to scan him to see what he is. Uh, I don't see anything new. Or anything that I recognize as new. Oh, let's see if we got anything in Micro Galaxy. Are we going to find us a chase this morning? If we do find a chase, I know some people get mad if I find chases of those. Uh, I'm not seeing anything new that I recognize as new in these anyways, guys. I got the same stuff. We usually find there's a bit Fortuna. Looks like it's seen better days. It's a little beaten up in the packaging. There's the Undertaker and Reigns Ultimates. Have they got anything else? They do have a WrestleMania shipper out there, but it's already been picked through. It's 
Somebody's got a Roxanne Perez behind the Undertaker. There's a, I can't, I don't know how to say her name. I think it's Asuka. But there she is. Oops, we just dropped the belt. <laughs> I dropped the belt. Somebody took the title. We'll fix that back once we stop recording. Becky Lynch, basic. Not much going on down here. These look like they're all 80 Kings and the Nile Rose. Yep. Uh, Stratos Wave. Looks like they got the usuals in Motu. Nothing new or different. It's, somebody's tried tearing the moss, man. He should be on clearance too, but he's usually 2550 unless they've dropped him. Scrap Iron there should be down too. We may scan him and see what he is. If you find that figure for a good price, guys, get it. That's an awesome G.I. Joe Classified. And again, don't see anything on the top over here. Among Us, still got Series 2. Got a bunch of Mario figs. And Lemmy. Found some good ones yesterday at the GameStop. Man, they got the pegs all jacked up. Can't tell what's back in here. Koopa Troopa. And another Mario. So nothing too exciting here. The same stuff we normally see. But we're going to check out some die casts. Get a picture of Aquaman up there for our thumbnail. And I see anything else in this lovely Walmart, I'll show it to you. And if I don't, then I'll see you at the next one. Our tour of Johnson City continues. We're now here at Walmart on Browns Mill Road. We found some new super or newer superpowers. It's our last stop. So let's head in here, see what they got. Here we are in Browns Mill. Let's see what we got up here. A bunch of the Star Wars guys up here. Are they still alive? <laughs> uh, where's the other one at? Oh, there he is. Yep. Okay, what do we got here? Hmm. He's still talking to me. Seventeen fifty for shipwreck. Got sixteen on our carded classifieds. Uh, Twenty-five fifty on moss man. They've got scrap iron at twenty-nine. Man, they got a bunch. Well, they got four of them. Uh, Talent fighter showing up at Ross. I would. Hey, I feel like scrap iron be at Ross eventually. But who knows? Let's see what we got. Man, they got a bunch of wrestling figures. Oh my, look up there. There's a crap ton of wrestling figures. It looks like it's all the Steiner Wave. Hmm. Who in all was in this one? Regano, Braun, Steiner, Dom, Carmelo, Eosky. Right, so Carmelo was the chase in that, or has the chase. I already got Steiner. I've also got Braun. I got him off camera. I don't know about Dominic and Carmelo Hayes. Uh, Drew, we'll go through those in a second. Let's get through all these first. So I'm caught up. Logan Pauls and Roman and him and KO is all they got. There's Piper, Honky Tonk, and um, Million Dollar Man. Uh, all right, let's see. Dominic Aqualad. Or, Man, there's <laughs> too many wrestling figures. Sensory overload. Chad Gable, Seth Rollins. This one's right there from the shipper. So, there's Dirty Dom. Let's see if they got the whole wave. Johnny Gargano. Let's see if we can find him. Here he is. Gargano. Braun. I saw. Uh, Steiner and Dominic. Dominic here. And there's Big Papa Pump. We got Dom Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes. Oh man, it is the Chase. Look at that. The purple is the common. So you got the Chase. I haven't seen the Chase of him yet. And then EO Sky. I know they got her. Let's look at her a second. Goes. Yeah, they got the whole wave. At least once. I bet they got it two or three times over. That up there looks like it's all those wrestling figures. But yeah, we got the Chase found this morning. Carmelo Hayes. So. That's pretty cool. Black series looks the same. I'll fix that back, guys. I just want I want to get pictures of those for thumbnail fodder in case we don't find anything else today. We got a chase in these. We do not. I do like that orange X-wing though. Uh, I find that X-ray chase of that. I'm definitely buying that, but that thing looks sweet. I need to look at some pictures of it online. See what it looks like. I'm thinking an X-ray version of a X-wing. Would look neat, neato. Oh, we got here. We got superpower. I got a skull ship. 
Brainiac Skull ship again with that sticker on it. Uh, no new superpowers here. There is an end cap before you get to the toy section where they've got a bunch of superpowers on it, but I've already looked at it. None of them were the new ones, plus I already looked at... I don't have anything top for superpowers, do we? I've already looked in the clearance. Uh, they got a bunch of clearance stuff here, but it's all the same stuff I've been seeing everywhere. There's a blood sport. And some smasher. Oh, what else we got back in here? Captain Cold. There's the strata legged Batman. Eh, nothing back in here we haven't seen a thousand times over. That thing is pretty cool to see. They had him here last week. Or it, that's not a person, but I wonder if it's the same one. They've sold it and restocked. Duke Thomas is showing 13, not Clooney here, but there's Mr. Clooney. That wave was showing up hot and heavy in this area for a while, and it's kind of fizzled out now. Uh, dinos, Wolverine Claws, usual clearance there on those epic heroes. Ghostbuster Wands, Proton Blaster. New Ghostbusters comes out. Is it this weekend, or is it already out? I would definitely watch that. We'll probably wait for it to come to streaming. Finally watched all of X-Men 97, guys. X-Men 97 was awesome, I think. First two episodes. I can't wait for the third. I'm not going to spoil it for anyone, but oh, if you're a fan of the older X-Men comics, like around the trial, Magneto storyline, Inferno, stuff like that, you're really going to like X-Men 97. And I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Turtle Van, Kong, Godzilla stuff... I don't see anything different on our Transformers. Bunch more Kong and Godzilla stuff. I guess we're still ramping up for that. For the movies getting ready to come out. And that's just the pallet of toy boxes we're going to check out here. Yeah, the WrestleMania shipper used to sit right down there where you see those basketballs. So they took it down and put the figures back here. But, oh, we do have this. Almost overlooked it. I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's a newer one. One of my viewers told me was one of the ones that's more sought after right now. But we're going to turn the camera off. We're going to check out diecast and collectors. If we see anything, you'll see it. If not, I'll see you at the next stop. I got in a hurry, guys, and blew past these. But these are in an Easter shipper, usually out in the middle of the aisle. But I got to say, this one right here, this Venom figure, that thing is awesome. I bought that one in Spider-Man. I also got Green Goblin and 29 Eyes Spider-Man. But this is the figure, in my opinion, the best is in these little kits. So if you see them... That's a cool figure. And here we are on this lovely rainy morning. We're at the Kingsport Walmart here on Fort Henry Drive. One of my favorite stores to hunt. Haven't found a whole lot here lately, so I got a feeling today, today might be the day. Let's check out the old Kingsport Walmart. See what we got here this morning. Got Ratchet. I don't see that animated version of Optimus Prime anywhere. I'm not sure I don't overlook that thing again. That's the only transformer I know that's out that's actually new. <laughs> um... Scar King, got our Godzilla and Kong stuff. The crystals, I don't see the metal figs anywhere. And I sold those, nope, got Lego over here now. Okay, back to this. Turtles, no auto mutation still. This must be what's remaining of their Fuggler shipper. And we got Leo and Donnie, Leo, 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 and Donnie. And uh, our usual suspects here on the Retro car turtles. Got our pizza tossers, 950. The usual clearances we've been seeing on the other. Oh, there's the metal figs for Godzilla and Kong. Never mind. They got them. They was in a different spot. No Wave 2, X Men 97. They still got Bishop, Storm, Magneto, Magneto, MJ, MJ, Murdoch, and still got this Jessica Drew figure hanging out. I've been meaning to scan her like the last few times I've been here, but I keep forgetting to do it to see if she's still 24. I'd almost bet she'll come up, you know, item not found or something. <laughs> she's an older figure. I see they got a skull ship, a bunch of superpowers in two different spots, but they used to have the end cap right there you see was a peg of older superpowers. I'm assuming they've just moved them down here. But we're going to confirm that. You know what you're doing, you assume. Uh, future state. I wonder if Batwing is thirteen dollars. DC future state, future state, future state. This is where we found the clearance nightfall Batman last week. Here's an owl man there in the back. He is well still showing 
1987 at this one. I uh, got the Batmobiles. Those are hitting clearance in some stores, but it's not marked here. Here's our skull ship again. Oh, it's got an actual barcode. So there you go, people. Anybody looking for that thing? Does it have that aggravating sticker on it? Let's see. Superman, Aquaman, another Superman back there. Death Storm, Frost King, Frost King. Eh. Same old, same old in the build of figures. Um, wish I would have waited on that little set of DC figures there as I paid the 24. It's down to 12.50. I don't see any Micro Galaxy Squadron. I was hoping to score a chase or something this morning. Oh well, we'll find more. Uh, Kersantin's 28.50. Lando's, or man, Lando's looking a little rough in some of these packages. What was that one? Oh. Chopper, uh, Grand Inquisitors, Lando, Grand Inquisitor, Morgan Elizabeth. Not seeing anything I recognize as new in that stuff. Got a wrecker there. Troop transport for 14. Over in our wrestling. Ooh, they got that two pack. Davy Boy. And the beautiful winged eagle belt. Uh, Big E, Big E, Lashley, and Lesna. Looks like some older basics. Silver and Anna J. And Nyla, there's all they got. I don't even see the Jerichos and the Eddie Kingsdons here. Seamus, J. Uso, Zane, and Zane. Trish, Zane, Zane, Zane. So that's what's left of the WrestleMania shipper. Million Dollar Man, Typhoon. Million Dollar Man. 2550 Moss Man. Motu. I have a sorceress, everything. Well, it's all older, but looks like 16 here for these. The Crimson Guard still carded or showing 25. I don't know if he's marked down or not. There's Scrap Iron for 29. Uh, Fortnite figures. They only got three of the small scale ones. And they got that down 22 now. They got those boxes. All oh, those are clear. I think this might be the store I saw like that Omega Knight or whatever it was in that little Fortnite box figures. All the Mario stuff on clearance as it is everywhere right now. There's some more older Motu. I'm not going to dig that down. Among Us Series 2 still. And we got Mario, 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 DK, Zelda figs, DK and Zelda figs, Kamek, Mario, Koopa Troopas. Okay. That piranha plant's cool. I had to want a red pot at GameStop yesterday. I may or may not have picked that one up. <laughs> All right, guys, not a whole lot going on here. Let's go check the uh, die cast and stuff, see if we can find anything. If I do, you'll see it. If not, see you Target. Well, we got a duck walking in the parking lot there, but here we go, Target in Kingsport. We're gonna head in here and see what they got. My Hot Wheels people just got in. Now it's time for the action figure guy to go in. Here we go, we'll see what we got this morning. It looks kinda dry. I know there's some Turtles of Grace Coal because they had a box of those the guy let me open. <laughs> so we got wave one of Turtles of Grace Coal. Always fun to see those. There's Malachi, remnants of the CM Punk wave. The Punk chase and then the um, Brody King. I was going blank there. There's Donnie, Leo, and Mikey. I don't see Raf, Sun Man. This is the last day of the sale. 323 to get some of this stuff at a markdown price. You can see, I think they'll stock up big time next week after that sale goes off. Um. Let's see, we got here's the Turtles of Grey Skull. These are all unpunched and the cards look pretty decent. So they just come out of the box. But they got Leo. There's Donnie. Showing barcodes in case anybody hasn't found these yet that are wanting them. And then He Man. This one to me is the weakest one of Wave 1. I didn't care much for this one. Which I have skipped on this line. But the Shredder figure coming, I think, in Wave 2. I think it looks really good. So I'm going to have to grab Shredder. 
I'm gonna set them back where they were. I didn't put them on the pay. I didn't want to punch them somewhere right there. They're still nineteen ninety nine. Uh, got a few Godzilla and Kong stuff hanging out. And we got Rocksteady. And Mondo Geckos, two of them, a Baxter, and a Ray Filet. Same old, same old, and Dinos. That 93 T-Rex there is tempting. And then over here, they do have this Optimus. I know this is new herb. It's not, I think, super new anymore. Here's the barcode. Anybody need it? Yeah. Uh, yep. Did you not? Scorpionock. Brawn. Huh? Well, I'll give Charlie. He ain't been mean to me. There's a Superman two pack. I thought those guys cracked me up. <laughs> And some honor. That's on a good sale on uh, Amazon. Buddy Dave pointed out to me. I started to order it, Dave, if you're watching this, buddy, but I've held on. I don't know if I want to get him or not. He picked that thing up, too. Now, I do have the Justice Buster. That one's awesome. There is Steel. I don't think he's $11.99. I say he's still the 22 but that's that and the Blackest Night stuff. That's all they have in Multiverse. Well, besides that thing. There is Mutt and Junkyard. Got a Peter Vakeman. Holding the fort down here for the fight feature, fright features. Uh, the X Men figure set, still 44. I'm surprised that hasn't got marked down yet. I do have a couple of Doc Ox. I wouldn't mind to have one of these to open, but I can't, I can't believe I paid $40 for that to start with. I definitely will pay it for another. Still no X-Men 97 Wave 2 here. None of the pegs yet. I guess maybe after the sale goes off. They do have one Iron Spider. There's an Iron Man coming in that little box art wave. Next, if it's not already starting to hit. And then what do we got back here? Series 33s. That's a nice Grave Digger truck. I've actually got that one. morning um, I kind of like that one too <laughs> all right nothing down the shipper let's take a gander just see is there anything marked down on clearance on Lego uh, I like to have that thing if I, I, I passed up on this on clearance one time at Walmart I just can't bring myself to pay 123 bucks and space is one thing. I'd rather have that Technic spaceship. All right, guys, I think that's going to be it. We're going to head over and check collectors, see if we might have any Street Fighter, and then we'll get over to the diecast once the Hot Wheels guys get finished. Oh, Spider Man mask. Walmart number two, Kingsport, Tennessee. Let's run in here and see if the good old Walmart on West Stone's got anything good today. All right, here's this little end cap. They had a shipper full of this stuff at uh, the first one we went to in Walmart. I went to in Johnson City. This is the older one, right? Hmm. That looks like the Venom. I've already got that two pack. If that is it, I don't know. Let's get down here and check the toys. There's our Lego shipper. I've been nosing through these boxes. I got two WWE boxes here, but they're both this wave. Dominic Mysterio and Big Papa Pump, both boxes are. We've already found some of those this morning, so. And then the one thing we found that I got excited about, they have a Hot Wheels box with the Porsche cars in it, but it's not the whole set. That number six car is hard to locate in that. But we got loud music in here, so we're going to keep talking and rambling, and we're going to head down this toy aisle and see what they got actually on the shelf. Because they got a bunch of stock boxes. But again, we've nosed through them. There's not much in them. Now, they did have the X-Men 97 Wave 2s, some of them last week. I don't see any of them here this morning. So far, it looks about the same old, same old. There's a Bobby Lashley Ultimate. Donnie and Leo, they do have Raph and Mikey in these turtles. I don't see any of the others, and those are going to start falling off the pegs, but 
Look at the usual stuff they've got. And Ninja Turtles. Um, don't see any X-Men 97 laying loose down in there anywhere. Nothing up on top. Well, stuff up on top. Just nothing we're looking for. Now, that little shipper they had in uh, Johnson City, I didn't film it, but they had these things too. The Iron Man, the Spider-Punk mask. Uh, there's the cat one you can find at Ross. All over Ross right now. Think about every toy hunter that's hunting in the Ross stores are finding that. Invisible Jet, Armored Batman, Older Multiverse. Still got Robin. A couple of Robins. We got Owlman. I don't see Owlman. Oh, superpowers. There's Owlman. My bad. I got him and another Robin. Are these Robins still jacked up on the corner? Uh, yep. <laughs> Oh well. Let's see what we got down here. Um, death storms. Eh, same old, same old. We're not gonna take time to dig through all that. Let's actually oh micro galaxy squadron restocks. We'll see if we got any chases in there in a second. Oh uh, man, there's a bunch of wrestling figures. All those are Eddie Kingston's, Rock, Jimmy Uso's. There's a biker taker, um, Nick Centers have done a review on this guy. He actually looks pretty cool, but he does. He looks very confused at <laughs> the packaging, the way they got him posed. I pointed out in his review, that's, that was funny. Uh, nothing on top of this other side, are there? Sometimes they stick random things up there. Don't see anything. Let's see what we got here. We got the non-chase V-Wing. What was your chase vehicles in this wave? Okay. And then this thing right here looks awesome. I've actually got that. I picked that up off camera a little bit ago. Uh, here is Poe Dameron. I'd love to find that x-ray of his x-wing. Uh, they got a bunch of his x-wing. Yeah, four of them. The orange one's cool too, don't get me wrong. Let's just put all of them together. And then the V-wing. Sonic Gather. Oh, you guys are killing me. And oh my lord, these shells are stocks. Everything's laying everywhere. You can't get anything to stay on the shelf. That's the only th complaint I have got with this Walmart. Their toys section is always a wreck. Let's put that back up there. And then the non chase V Wing. Gotta love chases in those Micro Galaxy Squadrons. They are fun to find. Hey, we looked at those wrestling figures, didn't we? What we got here? We're lingering, taking too much time. Nothing much there. Starfighter there. There's a Batmobile model. Roman Ranger, Tribal Chief, acknowledge him. Uh, there's more Roman Ultimate figures. One, two, three, four, five of them total. I must have got a whole box of him. Sammy's about to fall off the peg there. We saved him. Uh, man, Sammy Zane is definitely the peg warmer of that wave. He's always all over the place. They got a bunch of scrap iron. They're still showing $44.99. I don't or $97. I don't know if they're that high or not. They're usually on clearance, but they don't have any clearance marked here. But I did scan stuff last week. And some of this stuff was clearance, but I can't remember what was and what wasn't. Uh, there's more Roman. There's an Undertaker. Undertaker Ultimate. Uh, Asuka is up there. But I can't reach her. But if they do have all of them, just gotta check up top. But they got so much conglomeration down here, it's kind of hard to find a place to put anything. There's Lemmy. Koopas. Uh, Mario, Lemmy's. Boom, boom. Cat Luigi bunch of links i found a case of those out in those stock boxes too but it was donkey kong diddy kong and two links i don't see anything else down through here we haven't been seeing so that's going to do it for the action figures guys we're going to check diecast anything's there you'll see it if not that's probably going to wrap this walmart well unlike the song on the uh, loudspeaker is saying this walmart did not take my breath away but i did go through one of these that i opened up here and they do have a chase carmelo hayes we found this earlier this morning so we've seen that chase figure twice now today so 
Let's head back to the uh, collectors and see if they might have something back there that takes my breath away. Hello, Ross. Let's head in here this morning in Kingsport. Let's see if they got anything. The main thing being shown up here I'd like to find is that Marvel Legends Quasar figure. So let's run in here and see if they got him. All right, they do have the two-pack. This thing's going to be showing up in a lot of Ross stores right now as well. Those awesome anime statues. And that looks like about it. Hey, Dig Dug. That's kind of cool. 20 bucks. Oh, we only got Kawhi Leonard and Kawhi Leonard. Okay. Well, let's head back to the regular toys now. Let's see what they got back there. Well, the toy section is stocked here. There's a telephone. Let's see. You got Gundams. Let's about the same ones I think they usually have. And there's our Gundam selection this morning. They do have one of the flashpoints back here. Or page punchers, I mean, but it is a flashpoint. We saw Batman and Superman. I think we saw Flash at um, the one in Johnson City. Got Gigantosaurus is back there. Just scanning. I don't see any Marvel Legends yet. That doesn't mean there's not some stuff back in here somewhere. We'll just have to look around and see. Turtles on skateboards. And there's Big Spidey. These are still in Walmart stores. I think they're what, 29 bucks? $16.99 here. The chess set. I used to know how to play chess. I haven't played in years. And Luke, the little man, he plays. He's pretty good. Um, there's more of the Young Jedi Adventure stuff. K. Brightstar, or Kai, or how they pronounce the name. I'm not for certain. If that's a cartoon or a show, I have not seen it. And here is a Boba Fett. Like old pop and t-shirts. Ah, cool monster truck assortment. It's not bad. How much is that thing? 25 bucks. Ooh. Of course, you do get a crap ton of vehicles in there, so. I can't remember what those things are if you buy them loose, but that's probably around the same price, I would assume. Uh, yep. No legends this time, guys. But we do have the Transformer 2 packs up front. That's really about it for this one. But we're heading out of here. If I do see anything else on my way out, I will show it to you. If not, I'm probably going to see you at a Target. Wow, I zoomed in on this and even pay attention. These were Pokemon stuff. I don't remember seeing these at Ross. $5.99. But they've got... Uh, who is this? Yeah, I don't know how to say that. Chespin. Froakie. And, oh, Pikachu. Hmm. So, yeah, got some Pokemon stuff. I don't... If I've seen those, I don't remember. I may have, but... Again, I just noticed them as soon as I turned the camera off, so I turned it back on. But now, let's head out of here. Here we are. Last Target store of the Saturday toy hunt. Let's head in here to Johnson City, see if they got anything that might can redeem this hunt. Been a little slow. Let's go see if they got anything for us. All right, we are starting here in Collectors. Oh, they do have Faye Long Street Fighter. But let's take a look at these end caps for Jason Voorhees. We're trying to find... M. Bison and Dalsine. Uh, that's the mostly the Target Con stuff. So that is a cool last run and Ghost Rider pop. Oh, here's a clearance. That was your last time, as is. 52 bucks in the neutrinos. Doesn't look like. Let's check the card aisle. Sometimes they stick figures down through here. I don't think they've got them. I don't have the DCPI to get anybody to check. Let's see. Do I have anything else we're looking at? Still got the spawn figure. I think they finally sold that platinum disruptor. I said Tim laying down back there. That's a disruptor, but it's not the platinum. Uh, well... I was kind of hoping to find all seam and bison today. I did get them pre-ordered, but you know, I found them in store. I canceled the pre-orders. Um, I don't really see anything too different here. There's some Dune figures we'll look at. That one gentleman asked me to show Dune figures. I think we've already seen her, but Johnny and then Christopher Walken here, Emperor Shaddam. This seems to be the only two that they've got. No, I'll take that back. Here's one. Here's some. Not that, that's sure. Uh, I think we've seen 
Feud or however he say his name. I think we've seen him too. Here's more two packs. Yep, we saw that one earlier. Is there anything we haven't seen? There's the Paul, the non-chase. I used to see the chase of him all the time back when he's first stocked, but haven't seen it in a bit. So there's our Dune figures. Steph Curry's. I don't see any. Here's Dune Pop. <laughs> Pukey there's cool. Ghostbusters. Um, what do we got in NECA? There's Sam, Ghostface, still got They Live, John Nada up there. Eliminate the Turtles, Evil Rex. <laughs> still got the Wanderer, a couple of him. That is a cool looking figure. Man, they kind of hung him there in the packaging with that wire. <laughs> um, somebody asked me who made these. I think, yeah, these are NECA. I found a Frankenstein and someone asked me who made the Frankenstein. They are NECA. NECA body knockers. Joker, Chucky and Tiffany, Joker, Superman. I'm going to get another one of the Tooney comics. And you got Raphael's the monster. I wonder if they have any Wolfman buried back in here. I think they had the Wolfman. Raphael's the Wolfman here at one point. It looks like they sold it. Well, guys, disappoint I'm going to say disappointing. Right? We've still seen stuff, but no Street Fighter figures other than Fae Long. But eh, we'll keep looking. They'll hit in these areas eventually. But I'm going to head back to the action figures now, and let's see what they got back there. Take a look here in action figures. Transformers. And what do we got down here? I'm not seeing. I got that Optimus Prime. We saw that. Here is Bat-Zaro and Bizarro. There's your code. Um... No snarl or anything down here that I see. Still got Necron. Oh, Bat. Man, Mr. Cloney. There's Platinum Steel again. Two Platinum Steels. I had two of these last week, too. There is Nightwing, Doofy Superman, and Regular Steel. So, yeah, they got that wave again. Those Platinum Steels are everywhere. I thought Batman is Jim Gordon. Was it easy Platinum to find? That Steel figure... I mean, I've seen that thing I don't know how many times now. So hopefully if you're looking for it, you're able to find it in your areas. They had two of them here last weekend, plus two in Kingsport last weekend. And there's Mutton Junkyard X-Men pack. And we got the blind bags here. These things are pretty cool. A little Spider-Man set. We got Ray Egon. And there's we saw Vakeman this morning in Kingsport. So no Winston on the morning hunt has been found. Still no X-Men 97. Cap's still hanging on there. He should still be 14.99 till the end of the day. Then he will go back. They've got four Doc Ox again. So it's pretty cool to see another restock on him. I can't believe how easy he's been to find either. And Green Goblin was like finding gold. Poor old Doc, he's everywhere. Iron Spider. Um, Mega block stuff. And we'll come back to the video game stuff here in a minute. Clearance. 719. Looks about the same. But let's head over down and check out what they got in wrestling, turtles, and Motu and all that. Alrighty, wrestling figures. What have we got this morning? Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns, and Cena. Hulk Hogan's and that. There's The Rock and Trish Stratus. Cena, Pat McAfee, and there's Rock, Pat McAfee, and Trish. We got The Blade, we got The Butcher, Chris Stratlander, Trent. We got Penta Obscuro, we got Buddy Matthews, Malachi Black, and a... Come on, let go of it. Non-Chase CM Punk. So yeah, that's probably the, the coolest wrestling figure I've seen today. Well, I saw that Camaro Hayes chase. That was pretty cool. I hadn't seen him before. and saw him in two different stores. Micro Galaxy. Oh, is this the chase? It is not. The regular V-Wing. I think that's all the Micro Galaxy they got. 
still hoping to score that x-ray of Poe Dameron's x-wing. <laughs> um, yeah, Turtles of Grayskull. Leo, Donnie, He-Man, Man-at-Arms, another He-Man. So second time today seeing the wave, first wave of those. We have any of these with the 40th anniversary stamp? Nope. And Pump Old Donnie and Raph mutating turtles. Still got some of these re releases here Leo, Raph, Mikey's. I don't see Donnie. And that, well, I got Donnie there, but it's a storage shelf, not the one that goes with that set. I've been meaning to look at these, and I keep forgetting in all these stores, but I think these are like a, yeah. Ten levels of adventure. <laughs> and Casey Jones would be cool. The limited edition Leo. I guess that's the chase you try to shoot for on that one. Uh, Godzilla and Kong, the normal stuff. Jurassic World. Looks about the usual as well. Over here. Nothing really going on in diecast. That little Miles and Miata is kind of cool looking. My Hot Wheels guys were disappointed this morning at the Kingsport Target. They wouldn't find anything they wanted either. <laughs> I don't see any Batman or movie stuff up through there anywhere. Uh, they got the scythe again. I saw that at another, I don't know if I was filming or not. I think I saw that in Kingsport Walmart. Star Destroyer, Infiltrator, and Republic Gunships. Well, they do have the Mercedes. That's the new one here, this one, the Nissan Skyline. I've heard that Skyline is pretty popular among collectors right now. I've seen it a couple of times, but not a whole lot. Usually just see that Mercedes and the new ones. Um, I don't have a Batmobile, do they? Nope. Back to the Future Part 2 time machine up there. Oh, look, here we go. <laughs> Grease trap. Second chase I've seen in these this morning. Oh, here's the Grave Digger. I think that one looks awesome. We're just kind of silvered out. These were on sale for $3.18. Um, what is that one? Oh, maximum destruction. Okay. All right, so they don't have a chase in 34. <sighs> I'm going to get this one. I'm going to wait. I'm not going to get it today. And cool to see another grease trap. Now that's going to do it for this one, guys. We're going to go over and check the video game figures and check some Lego. If we see anything, I'll show it to you. But if not, that will probably do it for this target. I decided to come to Elizabeth in Tennessee today. Let's see what we can find here at the Ross store. And then we're probably going to hit Walmart. So let's go see what they got. Hookily dokily. I can tell right from the get go here they got some stuff. They got a restock on Black Adam. One, two, three, four, five. I got a whole case of him sitting on the throne. <laughs> I gotta say, as far as McFarlane's movie figs, he did a good likeness on The Rock. I think T3 was telling me that The Rock had a lot of influence on these. That's kind of cool, too. You know, $5.99 or $4.99. Wow. I thought these were $5.99. Oh, well. Anyways, to get that cool throne, you're gonna do some custom stuff with that. And we've got Halo sets here. I like those little tiles that they come with. Got the interlock as well. We got another one there. I've seen that one a couple of times before. How much are these things? $8.99. And then we got a different one in the back here. Let's see if I can get this out of here without knocking everything off. The answer to that is possibly yes. Baha. There we go. So we got some of those. I will put that back on the peg, but I'm gonna wait till I got my camera turned off so I don't knock it this stuff off. <laughs> hey, there's Leo. Leo was the only mutant mayhem I had not seen at Ross yet. There's Wrath. Oh, look here, look here. Snake Eyes and Timber. Now, we're going to take a picture of that for sure. Had not seen Snake Eyes and Timber yet. That's cool to see. Oh, do they have anything else here? I saw him got distracted. I got Goofy from the Mirrorverse. A bunch of him. These Pokemon things I saw at the Kingsport. Ross again. I don't know if I've seen those or not before. I may have. And back here we've got a Superman page puncher. So no Quasar yet, but hey, we do have Snake Eyes and Timber. That's a cool find. 
Anything sitting loose over here on the shelf? Doesn't look like it. Um, let's see what else? Oh, I see a couple more snake eyes down there. There, this thing. Have you guys said, Ross, have you found this thing? Yeah, that is a beefy piece of plastic. <laughs> Big armored out Sully there. And uh, we got one of the Mario castles. That's pretty cool. There's a Spider Man Hot Wheels character's car box. That's pretty nice. Hmm. I don't think I've seen that in here before. $12.99. Uh, Turtles on the skateboards. Got Leo. We've got that little set back there we've been seeing. Here's Donatello. Who'd they have down here? Mutant Mayhem. They had Leo and who else? Leo and Raph. So got Donnie up here. So they got a Mikey somewhere. We'll have all four turtles. What's back there? Transformer. Which Transformer is this? And Minerva. I think I've seen her. Fourteen nine. I thought those things were cheaper than that here. McFarlane Anime here, Endeavor. I haven't seen those in a while. The Donnie we were just looking at. Um, Jedi Young Adventures there on the bottom shelf. Got some anime statues up there. Here's another set of character cars from The Mandalorian. I like the presentation of these boxes. If that Spider-Man set is tempting, I'm not going to lie. Bubba Wallace, our other two Snake Eyes and Timbers. It's really cool to see those. Um, what do we got up here? And we got Bubba Wallace. We got Kawhi Leonard. Anything back behind that? Got the Boba Fett shirt. There's Lord Zed hanging out loose. Watching us. Anime statues. What do they got in those? Just because I'm not a fan of these. Many other people are. But there you go on those. Um, that Pokemon set there. Young Jedi Adventures. I remember seeing that one at Target. Both these kawaii's, yep. I'll make sure there's not a Quasar stuff back in here. Here's another one. Point blank. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. I had to squint to see it. And a bunch more of these. There's a Donnie laying down right back there on a skateboard. There's a Raph. And another Raph. So no Mikey. I got almost set some way. Who's this one? Is this gonna be Mikey? Nope, Donnie. There's a tiny transformer. Man, look at that. That's tiny, tiny. My cat would eat that. Uh, the Mansion X Bat Cave. More page punchers. They're all the Superman we saw hanging up back there. Those little packs. We've seen those in other stores. Where's that Pokemon set? Uh, just in case anybody's looking for these. $22.99. Uh, da, 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 da. But yeah, so far so good. Let's go see if Walmart's got anything for us. But the Ross here has been some. I'm, Snake Eyes and Timber is the best Ross find I've had in a while. And we got three of them. Again, didn't find Quasar. I'm, I'll settle for $12 Snake Eyes and Timber. But we're going to dig through this a little bit more, guys. I do find anything else, I will show it to you. If I don't, we'll see you at the next stop. All right, we're starting at the back of the aisle. They've changed this entire toy section off from what it used to be. I don't even think this is where it used to be. But anyways, check this out. we got the new superstars. Who's in this one? It's Hogan, Doink, and Andre. Now, the blue pants, Hogan, I think is the chase. Oh, all red pants. <laughs> but there's Andre. And when the guy back here stalking showed me, look at this. They had to take his legs off. And they're in the packs behind him. They made him taller. And then they got Doink. That's pretty sweet. We're probably going to get Andre. I kind of want Doink. I'm not getting that Hogan unless I find the chase. But it's a cool. I'm kind of glad I came to Elizabeth in today. Let's see if they're going to give me any Micro Galaxy Squadron. Becky Lynch, Cora Jade. Now the kind of blacks so they've had the CM Punk wave. Uh, looks like they don't have too many hitters. They got some troop transports on clearance. Those are possibilities. Bunch of those. Um, got Vader. Okay, they got their clearance prices sticker like it's their regular price stuff. Okay, I get it now. They did have $29 on scrap iron down there. I think I got a little too excited by finding these. 
that I forgot to point those out. Now they got some superpowers. I see Nightwing, Wonder Woman, and Green Lantern. They got some of these here for six bucks. Looks like they're all Nightwing, Deathstroke, and Wonder Woman. And we got a couple of Vampire Robins, Bat Wings, some older Black Adam figures. They do have the McFarlane Bat Boat down here and the Cycle for 66. There's Death Storm, they got Clooney. And then the Darkest Storm. Here's some. Another Clooney Batman, and then the Heavy Metal Superman there. Like it's not Batman, that's what I was trying to say a second ago. I'm just stoked to finally see these things. Oh, what else we got here? More superpowers up top. Max Strike. And our Legends, let's see what we got. There's Matt Murdock. Got the Mark II Iron Man, MJ. Who's behind MJ? Jessica Drew, Spider Woman. Is that from the... Yeah, that one. There's Lowell. Sam Man and Siren. I think that's funny that he leave his legs off. Because <laughs> I was kind of wondering how they would do him. If they would make him the same height. Or they'd find some way to make him taller. We just saw some Mutant Mayhem stuff at um, Ross. And what have we got through there? Looks like the same old, same old. There's some of those re-release they got who they got leo and donnie and another one back there mikey i can see the nunchuck it's all those but raf unless i'm just overlooking him and then they've got an enormous clearance thing out there with a bunch of shipping boxes sitting on the clearance rack so we're going to check that out as well when we get back out of this aisle uh, Transformers. The Transformers guys tell me anything down here I'm looking over. It's new. But let's go find us some Hot Wheels and see what they got in Diecast. Oh, I forgot the video game stuff down here. Starting to come this way today, guys. Glad I did. And some WWE superstars kind of redeemed the hunt. Hopefully, we'll find some cool stuff in Diecast. Series 2 Among Us. Uh, Link, Mario, I'm not seeing anything at the Paratrooper, yeah. Alright, let's go find some Hot Wheels and see what they got in Diecast. Hello there, my name is Chris, you're watching The Man Collects, and we are going to wrap up another toy hunting adventure weekend toy hunt time. Welcome back to The Man Hut, as always, I want to thank everyone for taking this little bit of time to watch the video here on YouTube, and if you did enjoy it, make sure to hit that like button. But let's wrap it up guys, great weekend hunt going across Friday and Saturday there, so let's talk about it and let's discuss which store I thought was the best, what was store of the hunt for the weekend toy hunt. It was the first store you saw in the Weekend Toy Hunt video, GameStop in Bristol, Virginia. Uh, the reason I picked GameStop, it had the most, I guess, newer or different stuff that I hadn't been seeing a whole lot. But they did have Superpowers. They had the new bug, uh, the Blue Beetle ship there from Superpowers. I gotta say, as far as the Superpowers line, I'm kind of enjoying the vehicles more lately than I am the actual figures because, for one, you can find the freaking things. You know, the vehicles seem to show up everywhere where the figures don't seem to hit anywhere right now for me, but... GameStop, although we're starting to see some older, newer, I guess older, newer waves trickle into Walmart finally. But it's cool to see that there. That bug's actually good size. I mean, the box is pretty big. I don't know how big the actual ship is. I haven't seen one in hand yet, but it was cool to see that there. Um, they also had that Frostbite DC Rebirth Batman. I had forgotten that was GameStop exclusive. Um, I thought it was going to be available to order and print you know, all the big guys, big bad toy stores and all that, until I saw the little sticker on the box there that said... Limited edition, GameStop exclusive. So it's cool to see that there and see the exclusive figure. Uh, the Batman animated, the new Batman adventures. They had the Batgirl from that one. Um, that figure looks... I mean, I, I didn't watch that version of the Batman animated or cartoon that much. The, anima the main animated series back in the early 90s is the one I'm most familiar with. But that Batgirl figure looks small. 
I mean, she was probably small stature like that in the show. I can't remember. But anyways, looks like on that, if you took it out of the box, I'd be really weary about the knees and the elbow joints because they are so little. I mean, one wrong bend there, and they're going to snap off. Um, anybody's got that figure, let me know if it's good, sturdy plastic or if it, if it does feel kind of flimsy and like a break, I guess, risk there or whatever. But cool, still cool to see it there. On the one we saw, we didn't see Killer Croc or any of the rest of them, but we did see the Batgirl. And then we got over to the video game figures, and I do enjoy the Jack Specific Super Mario figures, and they had some new ones there. Had a red Yoshi, had some uh, Ice Mario, and they had that uh, piranha plant in the red pot instead of the green pot. So I guess they're taking the McFarlane page doing some repaints there. But, you know, there were red potted piranha plants in the Mario games, and it was cool to see that thing there. I think those piranha plants are one of the most, or one of the cooler looking figures in those ways, or I guess accessories. I wouldn't really be a, well, no, it's alive. I guess it'd be an action figure of that piranha plant. So, yeah, still cool to see those. But that's why GameStop, Store of the Hunt. Now, right there, you see the fingers. There's three of them held up. The top three. I gotta be careful, guys. If we can the top three, I got my three button shirt on here. I don't wanna show any cleavage you want intentionally here on the man collects. But, number three, what was the number three coolest thing? Snake Eyes and Timber, Ross, Elizabeth in Tennessee. Why am I giving number three spot to a figure that we have seen over and over and over again, I think since I started my channel? Because my Ross stores do get G.I. Joe classifieds. Don't get me wrong. I found a bunch of them there. But I've never found the more, I don't know, upscale G.I. Joe classifieds that other toy hunters have found. Actually, to give a shout out to T3 again, you know, T3 hooked me up with the Duke and Ram cycle and the uh, three-pack Vipers. I never saw that stuff in my area. Um, what's, what else did they have come out? I think that was it. The, the three-pack Vipers, Duke and Ram, never saw it in my area. Had not seen Snake Eyes anywhere around the, the stores that I hunt until Saturday there. Even when I went out of town this last time, I didn't find them anywhere you know, in Virginia there that I went. Or in Kelly and I went to Pennsylvania. But we did find them there Elizabeth and Ross. I don't always find these more upscale G.I. Joe figures. We did find uh, Snake Eyes and Timber, so I put it number three just for finding that, I guess, cool classified figure at Ross. Number two. Number two is more than one figure. So once again, we got more than three things in the top three, but number two goes to the WWE Elite Series 105 Full Wave. We found those in two different Walmarts in this hunt video, including the chase uh, from that wave in two different Walmarts. But who's in that wave, you may ask? Johnny Gargano, Braun Strowman, Big Papa Pump, Scott Steiner, which I think is the best figure in that wave, Dominic Mysterio, Carmelo Hayes, and the Carmelo Hayes Chase, and EO Sky. So I found the entire wave there in two different stores. Had never seen the chase of Carmelo Hayes before. It was cool to lay eyes on that. Um, I do have some figures from that wave. I did pick up the chase of Carmelo Hayes. We get to the toy hall, I'll show you how to know if you got the chase or not for that figure in case you're not aware of what the chase is. But it was cool to see those figures there. Um, been finding a lot of good wrestling stuff lately, and I find myself kind of gravitating a little more into some wrestling figures for wrestlers that I know of and are aware of. But it was still cool to see those there, and they were number two because we found the entire way, actually two full boxes of those things there in uh, Kingsport, Tennessee at that one Walmart. Then we found the full wave in the chase there at the Johnson City Walmart. So cool to see those. Now, we're leading into uh, number one. What's the number one coolest thing, in my opinion, that was found on this toy hunt? Wrestling themed again, and my favorite line of wrestling figures, the WWE Superstars. We found the new wave there of the uh, Hulk Hogan with the funky looking chest hair design. I don't remember Hogan ever having chest hair. At least not like that. If anybody knows what period of that career he's from, let me know in the comments or shoot me something on Instagram because I don't remember Hogan ever looking like that. I remember the glasses and stuff he would wear, but I don't remember him having that funky pointed dagger. I don't know what you call that kind of chest hair. But anyways, they had that Hogan there. They had the Andre the Giant, and they had Doink the Clown. Those look very cool. Been trying to find those in a lot of different stores. Had not seen them until Saturday when we happened upon them at the uh, Walmart there in Elizabeth in Tennessee. Now, there is a chase of Hulk Hogan in that, in that wave. The Hogan with the blue pants on is the chase. So if you ever find a blue pants Hogan, you found the chase in that uh, new wave of superstars. 
But that is number one. We've covered the top three now. We've covered the store of the hunt. Let's get into a toy haul and what the man collects spent his money on. First thing we're going to show did come from GameStop there in Bristol. And we did get the piranha plant there in the red uh, pot. I enjoy these Mario figures. I want to, I take these off card. I got a shelf. You can't see it over here under my little AC heating unit. It's got all my Mario figures sitting on it. So it's going to come off card and go over there with the green pot piranha plant. So I have a red and a green one now. Uh, also from that uh, GameStop, I didn't plan on buying this figure, I, but again, I, I ended up with it, let's put it that way. Um, the person who helped me get this figure didn't want any recognition or anything on the channel, so we're just going to leave it at that. But I did get this figure, ended up with the Frostbite edition of the DC Rebirth Batman, uh, the GameStop exclusive. It is limited to 7,600 pieces according to the sticker there, and there's a the sticker I'm talking about. And I gotta say, the box presentation on this does look pretty good. I didn't care a whole lot for how the figure looked when McFarlane showed this off on his uh, YouTube channel. But again, I like where it is. Like he said, he done the explanation of translucent. I mean, Farland did there. But you, know, you hold it up to a light. It looks like a block of ice. You can probably see some of the shadowing there inside the box. But you can kind of see a silhouette of what's in there. It does look kind of cool with, with that effect on there. I got to admit. But again, we got that there from GameStop. Oh, what we're going to show next. Next, we'll show this thing. We did get the Carmelo Hayes Chase from Series 105. And how do you know if you find a chase of this figure? Well, the common, if you see here on the back, he's got on purple tights. The common has purple colors on. This one's got that reddish pink. You can see it there on his knee pads. But if those are purple, you got the common. If they're the reddish pinkish color there, you got the chase. That's how to tell if you got the chase figure of Mr. Hayes. Uh, next thing I picked up, because I do have one of these in box, I wanted one to open, so I did pick up the G.I. Joe Classified Snake Eyes and Timber. And they had three of these there at the, uh, Ross and Elizabethan. And I had some friends looking for these, so I gave them a call. Like, hey, you know, they're here if you want them. And you know, one of them came down and got another one. They had one left when me and him left Ross that day. So anybody else looking in that area, check your Ross stores. They had one more of these there after I left on Saturday. But we did get this. We're going to crack this open and get him posed out here on the shelf with all these other things that I got. Uh, the last thing I got from what you saw in the video, we did pick up the legless Andre the Giant. And again, again if you find this thing in the store, guys, they don't have his legs on him because he is tall. And he probably to go to about here on the card with his stuff on. But you got the little baggie behind his legs and the boots are back there. So, like, it does look funny in the package. The guy who was stalking was looking at this with me. We were both kind of laughing about how weird it looks there with those pegs stuck out and not boots or legs. But we did pick up Andre from that new wave. And again, there is the wave for anybody wondering who else is in it. And there's a barcode, too, if you want to look and try to find it you know, yourself. Now, I did pick up one more thing off camera. They had this at the home base Walmart. Too busy in there to film. This is really the only thing that they had. I've passed on it twice before. I did not pass on it this time. We did get the Major Bruiser M2 Machines die cast. But this thing just looks too cool. I love that flat green paint. It just looks awesome. And it is a beefy piece of metal. This is a good sight. Got some good heft to the box here. Now, there is a chase of this thing. If you find the one that has the shiny gold wheels in there, you found the chase. This one's the common with the black wheel. Wheels. You find the shiny gold wheels, you got yourself a chase, and there's only 750 of those chases in the world. So, like I said, we got the M2 Machines Major Bruiser. And that is it, everyone. That is our weekend toy hunt video. Thank you once again for joining me here. Let's talk about social media and where you can find the man collects. Instagram, if you go to the description of this video, my about page on YouTube, the wonderful splash here on the screen, all of those sources will show you where to go on Instagram to find the man collects. So look me up on there and give me a follow should you choose to. And then we got the YouTube channel, The Man Collects. We are hard charging towards 3,000 subscribers. We're at like 27, 25, I think, by the time I hit record tonight. So we're getting closer, inching our way there. But like I said, if you're a first-time viewer to this channel, if you come back several times, you just haven't hit that little subscribe button yet, come on and click subscribe to the channel and see what comes down the pipe here on the channel. But with all that, everyone, I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I hope your week's off to a great start. And until our Wednesday video, I will see you back here next time.